Let's get to Matthew. We have Brian Yanus with us. Now, he is on the beach uh, near West Palm on the coast of Florida, of course. And I believe that it's about 18 hours before the storm gets real close to where he is now. But I can see it kicking up already, Brian. Looks pretty rough to me. Hi, Stuart. Yeah, it has kicked up in the last probably 20 minutes. I'm in near Sebastian, Florida, uh, north of West Palm Beach and south of Cape Canaveral. In between, we are going to get hit very hard here in this area along the Space Coast with a major Category 4 storm. What you're looking at right now are the winds that are starting to pick up and that ocean that's starting to come in. We are now, what we're seeing is the dark clouds coming in. Behind that, those are those feeder bands that are going to start coming in as that storm heads up the entire eastern coast of Florida. Those feeder bands bring in that rain and that gusts of wind before the storm actually, as the storm continues to come up. The major eye of the hurricane is supposed to go by here tonight in through tomorrow morning up the entire Florida coast. We're talking about a storm that is, some people are saying, is going to be stronger than Hurricane Charlie, which was the second strongest hurricane to hit Florida after Hurricane Andrew, which was a Category 5. Right now, people are making their very last minute preparations. Where I am standing is a mandatory evacuation area. People, 1.5 million Floridians across the East Coast living on barrier islands just like this are being told to leave now and hurry up because this storm is coming. The last thing you want to do is be stuck on the road or in traffic during these high winds. So last minute preparations are being done now as the storm is really starting to uh, move up the coast and everyone's getting ready to hunker down on a storm that is going to cause unprecedented damage in this area, Stuart. Brian, thank you very much indeed. That's an excellent idea, giving us an impression of how bad it is now, 12 hours before the actual storm hits you. Brian Yenis, everybody, doing great work there in Florida. Thank you, Brian.